background the what i really want to talk about is alternative dispute resolution how you can resolve some of these business when disputes without having to go to court we'll, because, we'll, we'll get there please indulge me we'll get right, there right, so right. Let, let's build let's build the structure so the some of these business um disputes you are talking about um it is useful to make the point that it is not all kinds of disputes which are suited for alternative dispute resolution in the example you gave for instance you spoke about sexual harassment now sexual harassment is a crime and um, one basic principle is that when it comes to uh, disputes the underlying factor of which are crimes or criminal acts then they are not very well suited for alternative dispute resolution because the public and the state has an interest in resolving you know criminal matters and therefore basically those matters have to go to but the other things that you stated are very well suited for resolving through alternative dispute resolution you have started a business you have only about three employees that is not the kind of business uh, where you would expect that there will be an hr manager who would have internal procedures and therefore you know there will be long um winding proceedings or procedures okay it use, it's useful at the start of the business to sit down with your employees and your employers to have a discussion on how you will resolve disputes if they should arise and so you could have a session just as you are planning your strategy for other things have a session and say how would we resolve disputes when they occur in this business and typically, if you were seeking advice from an expert in dispute resolution, they would typically advise that you start from negotiation. If something happens, we will sit down and have a chat in-house. If the chat in-house is unable to resolve it, then we can look for somebody who understands this line of business or who can help us resolve that kind of dispute. So we bring in what we will call a mediator. So the mediator comes in, somebody like my good friend here has run businesses and I'm sure he's 